go. Okay. And awesome. Perfect. Yes, I love building Legos and I love building courses. And yes, that's a little hint about what's coming up. What's up, everyone? I'm Ben, co founder of WP Courseware. And I have some exciting news. WP Courseware 4.4 is hot off the press, and it is hot indeed. I'll be covering what's new in this new release coming up. Okay, so we've had lots of positive feedback about WP Courseware from you guys, but we've also had some what constructive criticism. In fact, recently at a WordCamp, a very nice lady approached me and introduced herself, but she appeared really nervous. She proceeded to tell me that WP Courseware just wasn't intuitive to create courses because she couldn't figure out how to create a course. Well, I sat down with her and I showed her step-by-step -step how to create a course. But in my mind, I couldn't help but think, man, she's right. It isn't very intuitive. But today that all changes with our new and improved course builder. Basically, we wanted you guys to have the ability to build your course in one single location. So no more creating a course in one place and configuring the course and then going over, clicking over to create a module, and then clicking over to create a unit, and then going to a different screen so that you can arrange the course. Now you can do it all in one single screen. Pretty sweet, right? There are a few more awesome features like a new course single, which is basically a single page that gets created when you create a course. Uh, there's a perma structure option for your course and for units as well now. Uh, as well as the taxonomies because courses and units now have taxonomies. So this isn't going to be an in-depth tutorial. However, I will give you a basic of idea what's new in this release. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that we have a new course index page. So now it looks pretty similar to uh, the, the previous version of WP Courseware, uh, but there's a few nuances here. Um, basically, you have a new uh, short code option here so that you can uh, create your uh, course outline page immediately if you wanted to put it on a separate page. Um, you'll also notice that we've got categories and tags now because the courses are now a custom post type. So for you developers out there, uh, courses are now a custom post type, which is actually really cool. It gives us a lot of flexibility. Okay, so if we click into one of these courses, this is where all the magic happens, okay? So when you create a course for the first time, uh, you basically will give it a title, and you'll notice that a permalink will get created here. Then you can literally just start adding modules. Okay, you can add multiple modules uh, if you wanted to. You can also come into that particular module. So we have two modules now. So I can open up the second module, which I just created, and I can add a unit. So let's add a unit here. The other cool thing is that you can add in existing units. So you can just pop right in, select your unit, and and it goes. Now everything in this screen can be arranged differently. So you can click and drag things around. You can move your units around. Uh, you can swap your modules around if you want. It's pretty cool stuff. You can also add quizzes right onto the units right from here. Now we don't have the ability yet to actually edit your quiz right from this screen. Um, but what you can do is you can open open up the quiz. If you click this link here, it opens it up right in the next window, and you can you can start adding in your questions here to and save your quiz. Um, then you'll notice that all of the tabs that we used to have at the top are now arranged in these nice tabs here. It's very organized, very structured, very clean. Um, so you can totally configure your course here. You're going to notice that a lot of the uh, the text areas, like for description and even some of the messages and emails, they now have uh, a WYSIWYG text editor, which is really cool because we didn't have that previously. 
So again, you can come in, you can, uh, you can edit your messages here. You can edit your emails, uh, right here. Um, there's, there's template tags that you can pop right in. Um, you have certificates that you can configure your prerequisites for courses. Uh, and then you have some, some basic tools. Okay, cool. So aside from that, you're going to notice here on the side here, we've got categories and tags. So you can add categories to your courses. You can tag your courses. You can also set featured images, which is really cool. In a nutshell, that is the course builder. So now you can create your course all from one single page, which is, is really cool. So one of the other cool things is that you can immediately view your course. Um, so once, once you create it, you, you can do this from one of two places. If you are in the course, you can just click right here to view your course, or you can preview changes here, or you can actually click right here. Uh, when you, when you mouse over the, uh, the title here, you'll get a view option. And this is a new feature as well. We've got a course single. So the course single will show you uh, a featured image. It's got the course title, course description, and this is where an enrollment button would go if you are not enrolled. And then you have uh, a course outline here, which shows uh, all the modules and units within that particular course. So that is a new feature as well. Okay, so let me click back over here. And lastly, we have added uh, a couple of cool, really cool features that have been uh, frequently requested actually. Uh, so with our courses, now you can actually configure your perma structure. So you can have it set to the default, which is course and then course title, or you can use the courses base, uh, which is courses sample course. So example course would be the course title, or you can create your own custom base. So if you wanted to call this like something like my courses or uh, maybe like cool courses, you, you could you could do that as well. Um, and then we've done the same thing for taxonomies. We've given you the ability to create your uh, category base uh, for either tags or categories. And then if we pop over to units, you're going to notice the same exact thing. Now you have some flexibility with uh, changing the perma structure for your course units. So you can use the default, which is, which is how it is today. This is how we've released it for the past six years. Uh, basically you have module and the module number followed by the unit title. So now what you could do is you can actually add the course um, base along with the course title, then module number and sample unit. And you can do the same thing with the courses base or you can actually have a custom base. So that about wraps things up. This is a very, very cool update. Um, it, it really is a game changer because now you can save a lot of time by creating your courses in one single place. You can view it immediately and, and you can publish that course very quickly. So you can literally have a course up and running uh, within a matter of, of minutes or hours, however long it takes you to actually produce the content. That's where your bottleneck's gonna be now, producing content. So uh, we're really excited for this release. Keep your eyes peeled. We've got more really cool features uh, in store for future updates. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so now. Uh, this is where we release um, videos like this with release announcements. We also do a lot of video tutorials and things like that. So please, please subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.